Uh, good morning, Vincent Randazzo from NASDAQ's Market Intelligence Desk here at the NASDAQ Market Site. Wanted to give you a quick update on what we're seeing in markets today as a result of the jobs release on Friday where the market was closed. And uh, right now, we open basically in the hole. Um, stocks down across the board. Uh, Dow is indicated down over 100 points. Now we have stocks trading up on the order of about a half a percent across the board between the S&P, NASDAQ, as well as the Dow Jones. Um, if you look at on the day, we're basically uh, at the highs or towards the highs of the day here um, and above important levels. So on the, uh, the S&P, we're just above the 50-day moving average. What I'd like to see here uh, to close the week is a close above 2090, and that was the highs of last week. And I think that would indicate uh, maybe a move in that direction higher. Uh, to, the, to the flip side of that, if you got a move below the lows of, um, of last week, which was about 2045, that would indicate a move to the downside. Um, you know, and I, I think that before earnings come out, um, it's important to get a sense for what the tone is. If the tone is negative going into earnings, I think that there's a better chance to surprise to the upside if earnings come in okay. So, you know, there's a lot to consider um, as you head into earnings. The other part now, I guess, for the NASDAQ, I just want to give you some levels there. The, uh, the level we're looking at for the upside is resistance. They're going to be the, the highs of last week, which is um, going to be about. Uh, 49, 48, and the lows at 48, 26. Otherwise, uh, markets are reacting as you would expect. Um, the dollar is weaker, rates rates are, uh, are falling, and as a result, you've got um, energy benefiting on the day and utilities benefiting on the day. Uh, utilities are actually the strongest here today, um, as well as small caps. So. You know, again, a, a dynamic mix of what's going on. Uh, still, weakness in the financials, healthcare, and biotechs still, still all notable, and, and that looks like it's set to continue. But for now, let's just see how we close today. If we can maintain the strength through the day, uh, maybe that means we can maintain the strength through the end of the week. But we'll have to see how we close.